everyone, back again, Squee with Mickey. Hello. And welcome back to another episode of XCOM Long War. We've got a uh, moderate abduction, and we're taking Galvatron with the uh, default loadout package, alloy belt, heat ammo, and uh, lock and load. We've got our squad leader, LL Cool J, with uh, a scope and high cap mags to give him an extra shot, because his aim is already through the roof. Uh, he's got like 112 aim, guys, uh, just with the scope. We've got our engineer, Shodan, with uh, two AP grenades. We've got our scout, uh, Thompson, with a scope and a flashbang, and the armor, the better armor. We've got our gunner, Sun Tzu, who's actually going to take the phalanx armor to give him just that extra little bit of mobility. Um, and uh, I don't suppose Battle Scanner works on the Packmaster. No, it does not. So he is taking 2 AP and 2 HE uh, so that he has some offensive capability if he has to move. Maybe take out some cover, maybe just hit, hit him. So um, he doesn't have great mobility, but that'll, that, 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 that's better than nothing. Uh, we've got Lobo. You know what, actually? Believe it or not, I might just take another battle scanner, and I'll have six battle scanners. That seems a bit excessive, though. I mean, granted, it is a road where there's not been that much destructible cover, but HEs could come in handy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you. Or I could... You know what? Maybe just take a crap ton of smoke. Because the thing is, it's true. Like, I was thinking about roadways don't have lots of destructible cover. It's a lot of cars. Yeah. So, some AP. And, uh, you know what? Actually, maybe I should just take some HE and some smoke. Because I've got an engineer with four AP grenades. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. So. Or uh, maybe maybe switch out the and the engineer to have two AP to two um H uh, G to spread out the APs. Um, uh, sure, we could do that. I mean, at least that way as well. The engineer will have more range on the HGs because the, the HGs have less blast radius. Good point. Good point. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, so. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then we have four smoke grenades, so, with roadways that can always be tricky. So we've got our medic, Lobo, with, uh, med kits and smoke grenades, and we've got our one rook, uh, face ten, with a scope and a flashbang, and that's it. We're good to go. Let's do this. Exploding cars and suppressing could be useful. That's true, but you also, if that, if we wanted to do that, then the way we're going now would be better because we don't want the person who needs to suppress to also be the one that needs to throw the grenade. And also, grenades don't reliably set cars on fire anymore. Yeah, because of their variable damage and blast. Um, the damage based on the proximity of the grenade. Both those combined means that the grenade has to be thrown almost literally inside of the car, which you can't get that angle. What about Sapper? Always throws on top. Sapper should have a better chance. Sapper, yeah. Sapper will have a definitely a better chance. Whee! This map is very good for snipers. I agree. This is not I mean, a bad map. This is a as soon as you get to that tower, your snipers just, they, they stay there for the rest of the mission. Yeah. The problem is, of course, getting to that tower, because so many times I've moved up one square and triggered a bunch of aliens. Yeah, same here. But Not it, it looks like you're clear. Yeah. yeah. Like Not to mention, um, they they changed the, the pod spawns like two patches ago. So the likelihood of encountering somebody right at the start is, well, less likely. But considering that my sniper also has damn good ground, that's just, yeah, okay. you're, like you said, he's going up there and he's staying there for the rest of the So night. even without steadying his aim, he will have 100% shots on enemies in half cover. Yep. That is, enemies in half cover and flying. That's, that is very nice. Oh, you can hunger down. Alright, I hear floaters. Let's get 
my shiv up to here. Hi there. Drones! With a big drone! No, or, yeah, that's bigger than normal. He doesn't have any more health, though. Maybe he has more damage reduction or something. That's weird. Yeah, usually if they're... If they're bigger, they're, they'll have more. <laughs> more of, of uh, health um, abilities. Yeah. That is strange. Hmm. Oh, well. Right, uh, I've noticed with drones more so than any other... Um, enemy units, they're, um, as the aliens upgrade, the drones seem to, to not get any more health until they reach this threshold where their health just doubles. Wow. So sectoids, thin men, mutons, they'll go up one, two health at a time until they, you know, eventually reach their cap. But drones, they have to go up like three or four levels, being at like three, four or five health, depending on the difficulty, then all of a sudden they'll jump to about eight health. Try and take him down. Oh, you missed. Oh. I'm gonna try and take him down this turn. All right, you. Okay, hang on. My sniper's got 73. Go for that leader right there. Wait, are you the leader? Yeah. So go for the leader. Oh, come on. No, you can't keep missing things like that. All right. Um. Oh, come on! Everyone, stop it! Stop it! Stop missing! I'll get him next time. Uh, that's a 45% chance. That's not great. Actually, I might use you to smoke. You. 57% chances. You have heat. So, yeah. Come on, take that shot. There we go! Nice. Jodan, you no longer have targets on anyone. <coughs> go here. Will they be able to flank you enough? Go here. Headed there now. There you go. Now you can see one. Not quite. All right. Ah. All right. Oh. Right, well, worst uh, case scenarios, they are just drones. I wouldn't imagine they'd be able to get a flank on anybody. Come on, take one out. Well, actually, yeah, that guy yes. to the left of the car. Which guy? Oh, sorry, that's a ship. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. You I'll know what? Have... You just take your shot. Cause I was going to say, maybe smoke, but there's only one drone left. I'm just going to take a shot at him. I'm not going to waste yeah, the smoke. Yeah, not to on. mention overwatching as well, you'll actually have less of a chance to hit them because they'll stay flying. Right. And drones nice. don't tend to not move when in over when they're being overwatched. <coughs> Excuse me. You gonna take a shot at my drone, my shiv? Yeah. Ah, oh, you missed. Ha ha ha. All right. Well, this rookie, has been a nice easy pod. Rookie, show them what we do to people who miss our our shivs. That's right. Nice, nice. <laughs> Rookie, kill the drone. Good job. Kill confirmed. You see that floating metal head up there? I want you to shoot it. Actually, I'm not going to move him up there yet. That would be a bad idea. Confirmed. Closing on target position now. Right, oh, God, be careful. Yeah, he's, he's no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, not I'm not moving anyone else at all. I'm just going to reload people. I might move you up to, like, here. That's affirmative. Back online. Getting it done. We're green to go. Eyes on the prize. I'm ready. Alright. More floaters, it looks like. I'm on it, Commander. Oh, if you can get to the high ground, they're not going to be a problem. There we go. All right, everyone, let's move up a little bit. Actually, uh, I'm going to wait one more turn. Reload everyone and uh, get rid of his snapshot penalty. Well, there's 
some mel to consider though. I really do need to start trying to worry about getting some mel. Alright, we'll move up. His snapshot penalty won't be too bad. And we don't see anyone anyway. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Good to go. Rook. Moving out. You need to reload. Good to go. There you go. Our gunner. Go here. We'll get you here. Roger that. Don't you wish that sniper had double tap? Yes, yes. In I that do. position, just just keep firing. Don't stop. Everybody else can hold back, watch, and maybe learn something. All right, let's just activate some people. Hello. Okay, yeah, this looks like a. They all lot went Overwatch. No, I see the mission. <laughs> they, every single one of them went Overwatch. All right, uh, do we want to just hit the lead? No, we want to hit someone we're pretty sure we can kill. I would actually use the sniper last and see who you can injure and then use the sniper to finish them off. Actually, if you, you can injure no, that. No, no, here's the thing. I'm not. I'm planning on having them just come back to me. I don't want to move people up. There's not a lot of full cover that I can get people to this turn. I want them to come back over here. Are you going to leave the ship there? No, absolutely not. How are you going to pull them back in Overwatch? What do you mean? They're oh. all in Overwatch. Oh. You could use smoke, and not to mention it'll be a dash back as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll do that. But I definitely don't want to leave them there, because that's almost a death sentence right there. Yeah, I'll pop smoke. And uh, I'll get her to half cover. Aye, aye, Commander. And then my medic will pop smoke on the ship. Oh. It there. I can't rocket him. I don't have any rocketeers. All right. Um, not pulling him back before my sniper takes a shot, though. I am gonna go for one that I know I can probably kill. God, that accuracy is it's lovely, isn't it? It is. It's amazing. All right. Take him down. It didn't kill him. Oh. Oh, well. All right. Overwatch. Overwatch aye, aye. Uh, you pull back to here. I, I would actually conceal, put him behind concealment, like behind that van. Um, oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Three misses. He, he couldn't. This is as far as he could get. No, I mean the the van to the left. So you he'd still be here? quite far forwards. But uh, no, the the green one, the Not green van to the left. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he could have gone behind it and been Yeah, he could have been flanked though. I mean, like he would have been flanked because even if they couldn't see him, they're gonna advance. So they would have flanked him and then shot him. Like yeah, concealment only close. works if there's a chance they're not going to find you out. I mean to flank him. Well, you can't really flank a mech. <laughs> they well, laugh in the face of flanks. What I'm saying is, if they're this far forward, if he was like here, they're going to move up anyway. So they're going to yeah. see him and have great shots on him. I'd rather pull him back to where they can't do that in one turn. Um, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I don't know if they can move that far in one turn, though, to be able to move up to the van and uh, then shoot. I, I, You might be absolutely right. I judge that. Oh, yes, they can. No, this looks like a dash. Oh, right, you know you're right. It looks so, like he moved once and then moved twice. You're absolutely right. I, I was just playing it safe. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, I know. And on a dash. Well, we'll find out if it's a dash now. Yeah, it looks like a dash. Overwatch. Overwatch. This isn't going to help you guys. You know that, right? 
Okay, yeah, so the sniper can kill two floaters. No, the sniper can only kill one floater. I mean, sorry, the sniper can can pick one or two sh floaters yes. to shoot. Oh, can only s oh, that's the gun he got selected. Uh, you go for the 55 with a crit. What's your crit chance? Only 5%? Or 57 for a regular? Let's do 57 for a regular. Nice! Oh, nice, yeah. Who needs yeah. a crit when you've got that kind of gun? Yeah, I was going to say, with that amount of damage, you will probably kill him. And he's got a flank. I could just AP him. That's close enough uh, to kill him. With I mean, do you want to pop pop that guy's head out from the corner and see what the chances are to hit? Oh, yeah, sure. So it won't trigger Overwatch. Uh, 78. Okay, we'll do that. Come on, showdown. Oh, oh. 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 played with fate. Uh, if I put him here, they sh they would be able to flank him, wouldn't they? Where? Uh, sorry. If I put if I put Lobo here, yeah, yeah he'll yeah, get a shot. But they could flank him. Flank, yeah. In fact, I think they will, they'll all be able to. However, flank. if I can take out one of these guys and have the sniper take out the other one, then I could do that. We'll see. You've got 100% on both of them. Um, well, how much... Uh, what are the chance to hit on the guy in full cover? The floater in full cover? 98. 98. That's still really good. 98 in full cover. That's pretty nice. Um, but the odds of him killing him... Because remember, that full cover is guaranteed yeah. one damage reduction. I'd almost rather shoot at this guy. Uh, no, you know what? I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna I have my shift take a shot first. If he misses, then I'm gonna go for the guaranteed kill. My shift, I'm not gonna move because of all the overwatches. I'm just going to take my 47% at this guy. If he misses, I'll have my sniper finish him off. If he hits, then I'll have my sniper finish off this guy, or try to. And then if I can get them both down, I can move Lobo up to take a shot at that guy. So that's what I shall do. Nice! One down. Snipes. Hello, Cool J. Take that guy down for me, please. Don't know if he's going to do enough damage. I don't think he is. No. But still, a really nice shot. And you two are just going to stay on Overwatch. If you've got a spare smoke grenade, you could use it on the shiv just to make sure that, that no one receives damage this turn. Sure. Because this will be what's likely half the pods gone from this map and you'll still have two smoke grenades left. There we go. Alright, and overwatch. They're starting to lose ground. Alright, who's getting shots on him? Oh good our scout. Hit him again. <laughs> It looks a bit off. Oh, oh yeah. Missed. Did look a little bit to the left. Can't hit them all, I guess. Yeah, he did half the work. Doesn't want to have all the fun. <laughs> They're running. All right, I'll, I'll send Shiv up to uh, to try and get my sniper have a shot. <laughs> yeah, the Shiv can move up and point them out to the sniper. They could be in Overwatch, but they could. All right, I can only see one. But that'll be one that I can hit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, let's take him down. Nice. <laughs> All right. Do you know if that was the leader or not? I don't know if that was the leader or not. I'm actually going to have you probably dash up to full cover. Uh, I gotta move my scout first. Where is my scout? There you are. I'm gonna have you dash up to full cover. To try and take. You know what? I'll have you go this way to make sure that you draw any overwatches. Actually, actually, yeah. At this rate, um, I can't hear the noise of the meld, but you may actually be able to get this meld. Roger that. Especially if the aliens are doing well, then there'll be more meld in that canister. Yeah. Hello, 
elbow. You dash up to here. No, that's only half cover. Go to there. Stepping off. And Sun Tzu, you can't quite make it. Just go there. Actually, no, you stay in that smoke. Like if you, this will definitely be smoke protection. Yes, sir. He may as well hunker down. Oh, because it's dash, never mind. Yeah. And you can dash to... Oof. You know what? Actually, I'll have you dash to here as well. So that you have the smoke. Got it. Move it. Alright, and you just go on Overwatch. Okay. No one, huh? Hmm. So that Shiv is either hiding in the shadows and Overwatch, or just flying back as far as he can go, and trying to to coax you into triggering more aliens. Yeah, it looks like the latter as well. Yeah. But right, at least this. you might be able to get that meld. Next turn, I'll be able to get the meld. Yeah. If it's still active. Let's get you to some full cover. How is that only half cover? How is this full cover and that's half? Well, whatever. Yeah, I know, I know. I've I've seen that a couple of times as well. When there are two units of half cover stacked on top of each other, it should count as full cover. Yeah. Getting it done. To there. We'll get my gunner to here. Position confirmed. Shodan to here. No ah, I should have put it there. Actually, I'll go ahead and put it there. No, I'll reload. Reloaded. Alright, you go on Overwatch. You actually take this opportunity Ready to, to rock. <laughs> You've been firing a lot. And he's going to be firing a hell of a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can't actually get anywhere loath to put you there. Alright, let's just keep you here. Overwatch, aye, aye. Alright. What? A floater? Back there? <laughs> Nonsense. We thought he'd just left. Oh, you saw! Oh. Oh. You know, I was trying to listen to the audio in the stream. To hear if I could uh, to see if I could hear that um, the noise from the meld. Uh, they, I think they got rid of the noise because I had no noise. Like you know where it ramps up, it hasn't been ramping up at all. Yeah, might just be this this map then. I'm gonna move Shibby over here. There you are. Does my sniper have a shot? He does not have a shot. How about that? Wow, he should be ashamed. What's your shot on? Only 47. Yeah, he should have a shot, shouldn't he? Why you go here? You should have a shot, right? You got spot sight. No, you don't even need spot sight. Go for it. Get him. That looks nice. good. Nice, yeah. Alright, there's still another pot out there. Here, but we're not going to move up further than that. I'm guessing one more pod in that back corner. Possibly. It could also be two. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, it could, it could easily be two, especially this. I don't, I don't really want to call it late in the game, but... I don't know what point you call it late in the game when you're playing Long War. Right. <laughs> what, is that mission 150 or something? Okay. I'm actually going to put 
put you here so that you may be able to go that way. Solid copy. And Sun Tzu will bring up to the estimator. We should draw something next round, hopefully. You hear that? Come on. Alright, Shiv. Go find me some aliens. No? Wow. You know, this is the perfect map and the perfect position in this map to trigger a really difficult, dangerous pod of aliens. Because you can just keep falling back and keep firing with your sniper. Yeah. But I bet you're going to get sectoids and thin men here. I wouldn't know. Or maybe like sectoids and, and seekers. Alright, Rookie, I want you to go out there and start dancing like a chicken to draw their attention. <laughs> She's like, uh, Commander, I said do it, Rookie. Moving. You go I feel, Commander. Sun Tzu, you go ahead and dash up to here. Double time. Alright, probably gonna lose that other mill too, just because it's all the way on the other side of the map. Alright, can you draw something now? Anything? Oh, thank uh, you. Oh, where we go? What? It didn't yeah, uh, activate yeah. them. Can, can, can LL Cool J see them? No, LL Cool J cannot see them. Yeah, he, even though you can actually visibly see them on the screen unless somebody has a target on them the sniper yeah. won't be able to shoot them he now here's the oh he does have a target yeah the shiv's got a target the sniper should be able to shoot him that's weird yeah um okay here's the problem if they're not triggered you may still want to move the shiv back because i've had bugs on many occasions when i've not triggered a pod i've seen it and then they automatically take their turn next turn huh all right Oh crap. That. I don't. Uh, crap. That sucked. Got it you still got a lot of good, good cover to choose from, though. Yeah, and now I can hit some of them. Let's see, let's go yeah. for the 100% or. Oh yeah, let's go for the 100%. Actually, no. Maybe we should go for the 83 leader. You know what? Let's just wait on him. I mean, if you had a shot on the, on the muton, I'd recommend him because he's got the the grenade. But other than that, it, it doesn't really matter which what floater you go for, because floater leaders don't have a great deal more than normal floaters. I think that they're like five percent more accurate. I think worst case scenario, they have the close combat specialist perk, so you can't get close to them. Although on this map, you're not really going to be getting close to them. That's affirmative. Back to full cover. I'll move you back to full cover. Position confirmed. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna move people back to full cover. And and overwatch. Got it. Except for you. Um, you're probably not gonna kill either of them, so let's go for that leader and at least get him damaged, I think. Uh, there's the hundred percent and the eighty-three, but I think I'd rather take the eighty-three on the, the more dangerous target. So let's do that and hit him hard. Nice. Seven. Oh, that would have killed the other one, but I couldn't, oh. have, known. I couldn't have known that. What's your chance hopefully to hit him? That muton 42. Hasn't, sorry, I hope that float hasn't got re uh, regeneration or repair. All right, go for it. Take him down. Come on, Rook. Is your moment to shine? Oh, Rook! No. You're Looks not off. shining. Yeah. You're dull. You're dull like sand. All right, Overwatch. 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 
come to my overwatch, sir. Or not. Shoot and miss my shiv, that's fine. Overwatch. Yeah, uh, you said muton. I don't think that. Did you see a muton? I didn't see a muton. I thought I saw a muton. I thought it was just fire. Uh, it it, it must, just, must just be the, the low quality of, of Skype. Okay, I was going to say muton. <laughs> Well, I mean, bear in mind the top half. Sorry, the top half foot of a muton is a floater. That's true. Oh, they, they nicely done. done. Yeah, nice shot. Now, mutons with jetpacks. That's going to be scary. Uh, they have those. Yeah, that's pretty much a heavy floater, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. All right. All right. Now let's hit some stuff. You can't see, how can you not see anything? How can you not see anything? That's ridiculous. All right, who can see stuff? You can see stuff. You can't see anything either, seriously? Squee, have you got a uh, floater um, autopsy done? I don't remember, maybe, why? Um, you can select one of them and have a look at their abilities. Um. Alright, um... F1. Uh, they've got... Nothing. Haven't done autopsy. Hi. All oh, the chat's already moved down. I'm trying to look for who said to, to, to try that. To or to what? find out what abilities. I was just having a look uh, at the chat. It's somebody mentioned in the chat to, to have a look at their abilities. Well, there's the uh, leader gone. Well, so much for his no, abilities. No, no, actually, that wasn't the leader. That was the guy that dashed up. Well, still. Um, one guy's on Overwatch, so maybe move my scout to draw the Overwatch. Can he draw the Overwatch? He could if he dashed to half cover. Is that worth it? Yeah, he doesn't have a shot. I might have him dash to half cover and then I can move my ship up to get a really good hit. And then my sniper can take another one and then there'll be only one left. I think I might do that actually. You know what? All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Scout dashing to half cover over here. They shouldn't be able to get a flank from there. Let's go here. I would really make sure that he's got smoke there. Yeah, I could probably take care of that. I mean, at this rate, you can easily do the mission without anybody taking any damage and get that extra experience. Mm -hmm. And if Shodan possible, that's here. the way you should go. And AP that floater. What are your chances to hit? Yeah, they're only 48. But you can do this. Oh no, one square off. Are you kidding me? You can use a HE, yeah. I suppose. Alright. Don't yeah. know if that'll blow up the cover, but you know. I, I don't know and I don't know if it'll kill him, but did three damage. Alright. Oh, that should be a one shot for anybody else. Lobo can't see anything. Lobo. You are probably going to smoke. Okay, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Lobo, you get up here. You are going to smoke everyone. Alright. Uh, can you get... No. Go for those three. Go out the way. You know, if the ship hasn't moved yet, I'd recommend pulling him back into the smoke. No, actually, I'm going to move him up to kill one of them. So that I only have to deal with one floater. Maybe, possibly, no floaters. Alright, you take this 30% shot. Nice! Oh, nice! I shouldn't have... That's I should that be one able to shot. Kill, I should be able to kill all of them this turn. Should, being the optimum word. Uh, 83% on him. 83... Okay, go for the 83% on this guy. Nice, that's another dead one. And then I rush the ship Ow. up and take out the last one. Hopefully. I mean, if the aim's not that good, you can always just suppress him. True. Very true. 
What's the aim? 47? 55? Uh -huh. 55? Might be worth suppression. Even with a heavy laser rifle, it, sorry, heavy laser cannon, it would kill him if it hit, probably, you know but... Yeah, let's do that. You know what? Let's try and get that meld. With my luck, the meld will die next turn. Let's do this. Come on. It's just Galvatron. We can rebuild him. <laughs> ah! Oh, Galvatron! Nice. There you go. And that's it. You got the meld as well. Yes! Woo! Did it! Didn't get any just damage three on anyone. Yeah, so I should get my bloody rank and be able to get my eighth bloody squad member. Finally. <laughs> now, if everybody oh, wait, got I can't, a, you know got why? a rank here. You know what? I can't get my eighth bloody squad member. You know why? What's that? Exalt just stole 200 of my bucks. Well, worst case scenario, you can sell a bunch of stuff that, you know, nobody in the labs knows how to, to, to use or even what they do. Like, what's this UFO flight computer? Who, who, who has any idea what it does? We found it on a UFO. It's called a flight okay, computer. No one knows. We only had two it. level ups. <laughs> well, one more than needed. Smoke and mirrors. Absolutely. And we'll save you until we find out what squad you're going to. Eight floater corpses, three drone wrecks, six Illyrium, six alien alloys, 11 weapon fragments, and 15 melt. And $150, which is still just going to take us Remember, to minus $56. Well... Right. Alright, alright, yeah, so it's Officer Training School, selling a bunch of stuff. we need $200, so we need $256. Yeah. I would say the flight computers. I mean, depending on how many you've got. Five. I've got five but, UFO power sources. Yeah, all power sources, yeah. Let's do that. Yeah, you can those. sell two of those and uh, a couple of flight computers. Power sources you're not going to need for a long time. Flight computers you might need now, depending on which direction you're heading. Like Mech and the Satellite Nexus. Mm -hmm. So, maybe just one of those. Things are relatively quiet you know at the moment. Screw that. Guess we we'll just sell three power right. sources. <laughs> Apparently, you can get um, UFO flight computer trades for um, soldiers. Yeah, for a corporal. Yeah, I think I'll pass on that. Thanks. But, but if you put your cursor on the UFO flight computer, just for a second, uh -huh. yeah, you haven't researched it yet. So until you research it, that's not gonna happen. Right. You'd only get requests for an item once you've researched it. Oh, I don't. I don't, I don't even want it. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. I still don't understand why the aliens would be willing to go to all this trouble. Barracks, officer training school. What could they be after? Finally. Bloody. Finally. We got all eight. Oh my gosh. Does officer training school give me anything else other than just officer improvements now? Um, yeah, just officer, uh, officer improvements now. So all officer training school is just for squad side and officers. Yeah, that's just it. Why'd they take so much away? Because they've moved... Hold on one second. <laughs> yeah, they moved it all to different places, but why? I mean, why... Officer training school was already quickly becoming obsolete because you get everything and you're done, but at least you had a lot of stuff to get. Now you've got four things. Well, you might think, you know, there's not that much to get and you're soon going to be done, but if you have a look at the amount of money you have to spend on them, it's going to be a long time before you got them all. No, well, all right, let me rephrase that. If you are not as interested in officer promotions, then it, you know what I mean? I yeah, if, I if that's if that's not your thing on, you know, relying heavily on officers and the perks they give, then yeah, I, at this point you could be done, yeah. Oh, but man. there are so many su such good perks that the officers get later on. One more alloy and I can pick into the carapace armor. All right, I'll get a rebate at some point. All right, so we can now get eight people on a mission, which is so good. All right, that's so good. All right, uh, so let's just uh, keep on uh, keep on trucking. Let's see what's next. Let's see what our next mission is. All right, so we got. Oh, hey, look, we got carapace armor, and we got three alloys. And you got the rebate. Yeah. Hey, let's get another carapace armor. Oh, I don't have the money. Bloody hell. Alright, you know what? I'm not going to waste more money. Uh, yes I am. I need... Sell some floater corpses. And then engineering, build by 
items. Carapace armor. Oh, I need another dollar. One more buck. Hello, weapon fragment. Don't mind if I do. Engineering. Build my items. All right. Okay. That is five carapace armors. Um, so the good news is once I get these built, uh, I'll have five carapace, two uh, phalanx armors, and a shiv. It will be generally my loadout, so everyone will have improved armor of some kind. Uh, I would prefer two more carapace armors eventually, but uh, we'll, we'll, we can worry about that later. Um, all right, let's do this. Good. And when you get more or more of the more advanced armor, that will free up more phalanx armor to be used by security personnel right. in the base defense. I do also need to start making some more. Like, how much phalanx armor do you think I should just have in the works? I would say minimum two recommended four. I've heard that they've lowered the amount of security personnel you get in the defense mission because you get more proper soldiers, but still... It would be nice to have soldiers that don't just get one shot from a sectoid, even though they're in cover. Right. Alright, we built the shiv. Nice. My request from Africa. I should see what that is, just to be sure. I'm pretty sure it's like satellites or something, but let's take a look at our requests. Uh, satellites. Meld. How many workshops have you got? Uh, workshops? Yeah. One in the foundry. One. There you go. So yeah, you've yeah the 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 rebates coming. Actually, yeah, the rebate comes from the, the workshop and the the, the connection. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and plus, I'm gonna put the cyber thing here. So I'll get two more. I'll get extra rebates for that as well. I'd love another workshop, but priorities. All right. All right. Any requests? We've got um, Mel. 12 mil for two scientists, no. Satellite transfer, alien alloys for two scientists, uh, no. Not even going to bother with that. Thinman corpses for what? No, nope, couldn't do it even if I wanted to. Uh, weapon fragments for an engineer? No, not for 20 weapon fragments. And. No. Alright. Let's just keep searching for stuff. Oh, hey, a medium UFO raider. Low. Scramble interceptors. Let's get Nanook. Nanook with your laser cannon. Do it. What altitude was the UFO? Uh, low. Not nape of the earth, but low. We have eyes on yeah, the uh, I mean, see how much damage this guy does. Closing if he does a lot of damage, then maybe you want to follow up with, um, Standard avalanche missiles. Oh yeah, he's doing good damage. Got him. Oh nice, nice. Yeah. That's Nanook for you. All right. And he shouldn't have that long repair time. Maximum like two weeks, I think. Uh, yeah. But yeah, we'll take taking out a radar on his own. That's so nice. Yeah, <laughs> the laser so cannons are so good. That's a medium UFO for next mission, folks. Next time, uh, that's going to be Vesta Squad. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys then. It'll be with Inferno. So as always, Mickey, thanks for joining me. No worries. And Always a pleasure. Else, everyone else, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.